Now we want to look at some of the other kind of standard collection methods that we have in Scala. And in particular, we're going to look at collection methods that do Boolean tests for us. So these are things that are typically going to give us back a Boolean value, as well as some methods that do searching and look inside of collections for us. So we have our array A, which has the values 5, 2, 9, 3, 1, 8, 6. And going through the Boolean test methods in alphabetical order, again, the first one is contains. So we can ask if our array contains the value 3, for example, and yes, it does. We can also ask if it contains 99, and of course, it does not. So contains tells us whether something is present or not. There is the ends with method, which tells us if the collection ends with a certain sequence of values. Now, in order to input that, we have to pass in a sequence of values. So for example, I could, I need to pass in an array. If I want to have something where the answer is true, I can pass in 186 because our collection, the last three elements are 1, 8, and 6. If I pass in any other collection, the answer will be false or unless I add more things to it, but yeah, so it tells you whether or not our collection ends with a particular other collection and the thing you pass in does need to be a collection. It is interesting to note that even though I am doing this on an array, I can pass in a list that happens to have those values. <clears throat> and the same thing would work in the opposite way if we were dealing with a list, we could pass in an array and it would work well. So after ends with, we can ask if a collection is empty. This might seem like a, an unimportant thing to do, uh, but it's actually something that you often need to ask. Is a collection empty? Because if so, you need to do certain things differently. So you might put that inside of an if. In the case of lists, you can either call is empty or you can check to see if the list is equal to nil. In our previous recursive functions, we did the check for equal to nil, but we could just as easily have called uh, list.isEmpty to get that. IsEmpty has a partner called non-empty, which is just the negation of it. Um, there are certain things that you can only do on non-empty lists, so once again, it's just helpful to have a method with that. And the last Boolean test method is the partner to ends with, and that is starts with. Once again, we have to pass it a collection. Our array here starts with 5, 2, 9. I'll actually just pass in 5 and 2 to show that we can do this with a shorter collection. However, if I have something else there, then it will tell me that it doesn't start with that. So contains, ends with, starts with, is empty, non-empty are some methods that give us back Boolean values related to the array or list that we're calling them on. We can also go looking for things inside of arrays and lists or we'll remind ourselves of the contents of this particular array here. And some methods that look for things, one of which we've already introduced for strings is a call to index of. So I can ask for the index of a one. And since there is a one there, it tells me it's at index four. Zero, one, two, three, four. Sure enough, there's the one. We can also ask for the index of something that isn't there. And just like with our strings, it will return a negative one when the thing is not found. Also, similar to strings, we can ask not for the first index of, but the last index of. Now, in my case here, this array, everything is unique, so the first index is the last index. But if we had an array that had uh, multiple uh, occurrences of particular values, then the first index of and the last index of might be different. You can also call index of 
relative to a particular position. So I could say to find all ones after uh, beginning with index 5 and there are no more ones after index 4 so it returns negative 1 to me. So you can tell it to only search after a certain position in the array or list. So we've done some Boolean tests and you can and we've seen that you can search for things, you can find out where things are using index of and last index of.